We've gotten some new information pertaining to base building that you need to know about. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get started. All right, guys. Um, Citizen Con 2954 was awesome. We've heard about base building. And since the um, base building panel has been done, CIG has further elaborated on some of the elements of base building, which I think is a very important for everybody to understand. So uh, we're just going to get straight into it. So right now, Dutch CIG uh, says each individual extraction deposit does indeed have a limited amount of SCU available. However, once you've mined out that site, it's done. He continues to say new deposits will spawn when certain resource scarcity conditions are met. But just to be clear, it's a new deposit in a new location. So this means if you go out and uh, you, you buy a land claim, there's resources on there and um, you mine out that resources, you're in order to get more resources, you'll need to leave that location or disband the claim and then go to that new location. So I think he'll talk more about this as we continue. He continues to say, not the same previously mine deposit replenishing while a base is active on it. So um, if you want that same location to replenish it, its uh, resources, you'll need to leave the location. You need to unclaim it uh, so that the uh, resources will replenish at that same location. Can come back later and then reclaim it once it's back. Uh, continues to say uh, these deposits will typically take a while to deplete however which is good which is good i don't want to be moving around too uh too much anyway so he then gets into abandoned buildings he says abandoned buildings will degrade and fall down over time you are not typically limited on the amount of settlements however in lawful areas the cost of buying land for uec and the tax is scaled based on how much land you already own on that planet. So it does escalate beyond an affordable amount at uh, some point. So which which makes sense. I uh, They don't want, uh, uh, especially the bigger orgs, to be building massive amount, taking up massive amounts of land on, on certain planets. So uh, this makes sense. But... If you go to unlawful systems, then you can essentially build anywhere you want, basically, and any amount of bases you want. Anyway, he continues here saying failing to pay taxes on a plot after X amount of time will remove it from your ownership, freeing it up for someone else. You can also just abandon ownership if you wish. Nice. On a side note here with regards to buying land. There are different types of plots available. One is specifically designed for extraction and its cost and capabilities scale differently from standard plots with the whole idea of extraction deposits depleting and you moving on to a new one in mind. So I think this is a great idea because uh, a lot of orgs or most people are going to want to find a location that they really like and uh, build there mine out the resources over there but still want to stay in that same location and essentially build their factories there being the main hub for their industry purposes right and then they'll have the ability to also go out and find different uh deposits planet side um and uh claim those locations temporarily mine out the resources out of it um extract it and, and bring it over to their factories and uh, once the, the resources there are uh, depleted, they will disband and find another location and repeat the same process. So this is really good. He then says you will be able to both destroy and relocate buildings. If you have a freight elevator on the base, then destroying will refund up to a percentage of the materials you need to craft the building. So you have to make sure you have a freight elevator available. Um, when you're disbanding buildings with the refunds being sent to said freight elevator the amount refund can be reduced based on how much damage the building has been destroyed you will also be able to adjust the stilt height of buildings so that it is easier to connect them to other structures on undulating terrain so this is interesting um i think uh it seems like cig has uh 
really thought through these mechanics that they're working on and um i'm liking these ideas that they're they're bringing forth i think it makes sense to be able to you know always going out and scouting for new locations to extract from and um, also being able to you know find locations that you really like whether there is resources there or not and then just being able to stay there um, having different claim types i think that uh, allows for more flexibility and i'm sure there's different prices um, depending on the claim type that you want to have so um that is uh, i think great all right before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one